if 3x minus 7y is equal to 2 and x minus 2y is equal to 4, what is the value of y? So we are given the equations 3x minus 7y equal to 2. And then the second one is what? x minus 2y equal to 4. So let's take this one as equation 1 and then this as equation 2. And we are told to find the value of y. That means if you're able to use any of the method to solve this simultaneous equation to get a value of y, even without getting the value of s, you are good to go, right? But in this case, we will solve both. Hope you get me. Now you can decide to use any of the three methods to solve to find x or y. We have the substitution, we have the graphing, and then we have the elimination method. So in this case, let's take it as we want to use the substitution method, right? And by using the substitution method, what you're going to do is that you take one of the equations and then you make one variable the subject of that equation. When you are done, then you put it into the other equation, okay? Let's do it. Let's take it as we want to make S the subject of this equation, right? Equation 2. So taking equation 2, we have x minus 2y equal to 4 and you're making s the subject so we maintain x then we send the negative 2y to the other side so equal to 4 is here already since negative 2y it is negative so it comes here to be what positive so you have positive 2y let's take it as this is equation 3 okay now we've made s the subject of the equation 2 and we've named it as what? Equation 3. Now you can put this into the other equation. That is equation 1. So putting equation 3, that is x equal to 4 plus 2y, into equation 1. So that means wherever you see x in equation 1, you write what? 4 plus 2y. Okay. So let me rewrite this. We have 3x minus 7y equal to 2. That is the equation 1. And whenever you see S, you write what? 4 plus 2Y. So we have 3 multiplying X. So we write what? 4 plus 2Y. Okay. We have 7Y here equal to 2. Now 3 is multiplying 4 plus 2Y. Okay. So 3 multiply 4 is what? 12 plus 3 multiply 2Y is what? 6y minus 7y equal to 2. Now you can group like this. We have 6y minus 7y equal to 2 here. And we are sending the constant number 12 to the other side. It's positive. So when it comes here to be what? Negative. So we have negative 12. Now 6y minus 7y give us what? Negative y equal to 2 minus 12 will give us what? Negative 10, right? Now, we don't want negative y. We want to find y, which is positive. So if you want to take up the negative, what I'm going to do is we divide it by negative 1, and we do the same thing to this side. So negative divides negative. Now, we're left with y equal to this negative can take up this negative. 10 divided by 1 is what? 10. So now the value of y is what? 10. That is the question that was given. If you like, you can find x. Let's take it as you are just solving it at home for practice, okay? You can decide to solve for x also. But if it is not for practice, you can decide to end here. You've reached the final results, okay? Now let's take it as we want to find x also. If you want to find x, you can put y equal to 10 into any of the equations, right? And you'll be able to get x. So let's take it as we want to put y equal to 10 into equation 3, right? Which is this one. x is equal to 4 plus 2y. So we have x equal to 4 plus 2. In place of y, we write what? 10. Now x is equal to 
4 plus 20. X is equal to 24. So the value for X is what? 24. And the value for Y is what? 10. So this is the final result that we get from the simultaneous equation. 3X minus 7Y equal to 2. And then X minus 2Y equal to 4.